With Alzheimer's and dementia on the rise, affecting one in 10 people 65 or older, chances are you know an aging loved one with the disease. But you may not realize thousands of people are living with it in their 50s and 60s and sometimes even younger. Eyewitness News reporter Erica Zuko shares one San Antonio veteran story and how you can help find a cure. I really wish that people would understand that it's not an elderly disease. It is not based off of your color or your gender or economically where you're from. It is a brain disease and we all have one. Retired Air Force Senior Master Sergeant Nia Mostacero got her own diagnosis at age 42. Her condition, younger onset Alzheimer's, affects nearly 200,000 Americans, all 65 or younger. Part of 50 million people worldwide with Alzheimer's or a related form of dementia. The Alzheimer's Association hopes to support finding a cure for those conditions with its fundraising walk on October 19th. It's not just memory. You know, there are other things also that people struggle with and it, you know, coordination, um, can being, you know, your confusion, speech. There's a lot of things that your brain atrophy affects. Every donation supports research and resources to serve caregivers and people with Alzheimer's like Nia, who is still serving while living with the condition. Where you are, that's where you give your energies. Um, and this is important to me every while I can, I'm going to do everything that I can so that I can survive, so that my son can survive, so I can, I mean, most importantly, you know, my son is engaged and I want to see my grandkids. I want to know my grandbabies. You can join Nia and Ken's Five at this year's walk. Learn how at Ken's Five.com. Erica Zuko, Ken's Five Eyewitness News.